It's like on time. Let's get to this. This guy's been threatening me. He's been terrorizing the battle realm. Let's go kick his ass. Uh, what is going on? We got laser peed up. Beat up. Shouldn't you be in bed, dude? <laughs> what is going on? Uh, it's Danny time, baby. We'll put her in the lineup. We'll see how this goes. Also, I'll be sleeping in about five minutes. But if you open stuff, I hope it's amazing. Me too. I love it when we hope for the same thing. It's always my favorite. What's up, P-Dubs? Thank you so much for being here, man. Uh, Viva Las Vegas, baby. Should I start singing like Travis Kelsey? I know that's what the people want to see. The people want to hear it. They're like, with a gorgeous voice like that, that man could probably sing a tune. And they would be really wrong. What is up, Bean? Bean's here, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> it's always cool streaming at different times like La legacy what's up dude legacy makes a stream b mcg makes a stream morbius makes a stream those are four people that almost never make my daytime streams because they are working they are working they have jobs and are working yeah uh, that is really cool to see them here uh this is one of the beauties of streaming as much as i have this week is i get to see so many various friends uh from around the battle realms that's really cool eric Sai, what's up bud you want to hear me rap so every once in a while, I get these really bad ideas. Um, and on no joke, freestyle rap during one was is one of them. I am not good at freestyle. I'm not good at rapping. But I think it would be really fun to freestyle rap while I play. I think it would be enjoyable. <laughs> I'm just usually way too exhausted when I stream. Uh, I'm way too exhausted, like I am right now. I, I was actually supposed to be out. Some plans fell through. It was going to be a dad's night. It was going to get crazy. It was going to get wild. It's going to be a dad's night. Dad's doing dad stuff. There'd probably be beer and pizza and probably the Warriors game. Uh, and it completely fell through because we all have wives who have jobs. <laughs> and uh, they were like, we need to work. You can't go out and drink beer tonight. And we were like, yes, thank you for going out and earning money. Uh, we will take care of the kids. And I was the only one who was available. So I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get my ass kicked by Glycon. Uh, it's because we're locked in, big dog. You got that right, B McG. Let's hit that conkai. All right, let's actually do it. I have watched, as you know, you better know. If you don't know, now you do. I've watched Stimulus video many times. Many, many times. I have also watched uh, MCOC Noobs video many, many times. They cover the exact same subject. They do cover it differently. I learned a lot from both of them. And just to preface this now, I fully intend to spend a lot of items in units. I am typically terrible at these bosses. I am beyond bad. It's bad, it's ugly, it's horrible, it's fine. I have a lot of units, I have a lot of items. I'm comfortable with that. Of course, I will try to do well, we'll do our best. If you have advice, uh, give it while we go in, but just to kind of set the table. And I'm still gonna go and try to kick this guy's ass. You know, just cause you know you're gonna get a beat up doesn't mean you can't land a few good punches. That was that was my theory in school anyway. Uh, Giant Wallace, what's up buddy? You got six star kindred today, Super Penguin. Congratulations. All right, let's uh, go ahead and jump into this. Uh, thank you so much, uh, so many people for being here. I um, I did catch, as you guys know, I like I like to I enjoy watching MCSC YouTube uh, whenever I can. It's something that often um, when I am working, I have on in the background. That's why you know I try to attend streams and whatnot. I try not to say hello unless I feel like I can at least communicate back and forth a little bit. But I did see Nick136 going through it. He basically soloed with um, Seven Star Storm today. Uh, and it looked really good. I mean, she obviously looks great for it. I obviously, after having watched Sims video and Noob's video, Prowess Champions are the way to go, best I can tell. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. I feel like I've got a few champions that have Prowess uh, in their kits. And uh, I'm going to try to go in and, and see what we what we can do here. Uh, Agatron is not in the chat. Usually Agatron's the one uh, who's been coaching me through all of Act 8. And again, just to uh, make it clear, and I want, I would love your view anyway. I would love your view anyway. This will not be full exploration. I still have four paths to do outside of these three. I almost no way are we getting those all done tonight. But uh, as soon as we get Glycon down at least once, I'll open up whatever we can, whatever is available. I think it'll at least be a couple seven star crystals. If you get, um, if you get Titan shards for the initial completion run, we'll open up a Titan crystal. So it should be a lot of fun. And 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 I'm gonna go as long as I can. I just know I tend, I'm already tired. I had a full day at work, full day at parenting, full day at soccer, youth soccer, uh, the whole, the whole, the whole, honestly, I'm living the dream. Like when, when I, I don't wanna even make fun of it because I, I am living 
uh, the actual dream. I have an amazing job, an amazing family, an amazing wife, incredible kids, and I even playing a video game at eight o'clock. It's pretty good. <laughs> if you had told 13 year old me that that's what life would be like at 45, I would have been like, I can't wait to be 45. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is this? What's going on here? Prats uh, prowess passives granted by divine punishments last for eight seconds while fall off one at a time performing intercept professors all of these this is one of the this is one of the first reasons i struggle with new bosses is all the new tournament uh uh terms terms of the bosses so like the divine punishment and then the other thing noob and and sam did a great job of explaining them i'm already confusing them mentally that's fine we'll get to it when we get there but it looks like having prowess is a good thing the prowess expires slower uh during glycon special attacks Great. What's up, Captain? Captain J, what's up, bud? Thanks for being here, bud. Um, all right. Uh, so this this all feels. Are there no nodes? There's got to be nodes, dude. Um. Okay, here it is. Nova Corp rocket. The defender gains a non-stacking three-second true strike passive whenever they dash forward or dodge backwards. So whenever they move around, basically, they're gonna get this true strike passive, cool down nine seconds, and the defender launches a special attack while true strike is active. Okay, then true strike is paused and the defender gains an unblockable passive and a 500% fury passive for the duration. Jesus, this is already losing me, dude. If the defender launches a special attack while true strike is active, then true strike is paused and the defender gains an unblockable passive. So basically they're going to go unblockable if they throw a special while they have true strike and a five. So they're going to do a lot of damage. What's up, Grass? How you doing, bud? This is the hardest pass, uh, the hardest path. Maybe it's good for me to do it and kind of get it out of the way. You know what I mean? Uh, and B, unless you're like, dude, don't do this to yourself. What I'm thinking is get it out of the way, get my ass kicked, and then everything's easier as we go. Um, disarm, dodge. Whenever the attacker dodges any hit in the defender's special attack using the dexterity mastery, any weapon node active on the defender. So we want to, that's how we disable it is so we get them to throw the special, we dex it, we will disable this. Cool. And then while the weapon is on cooldown, they're inflicted with an invulnerability passive. All right, that sounds good. Sure. While the defender's weapon is on cooldown, when the attacker can capture the weapon by inflicting a stun. Okay, so they changed it up. Uh, the rest of the lanes have been like you just use your striker. So I, I don't. I actually really appreciate that they had kept it the same. I don't like extra complexity being added on top of the, uh, the capture of the flag stuff. But it is what it is. So while the defender's weapon node is on cooldown, the attacker can capture the weapon node by inflicting a stun or passive on the defender. Capturing a weapon applies the nodes. Okay. Well, then it's on cooldown, the finish guarantee critical hits. I, I think I'm getting this. Uh, I'm I'm not going to be above, you know, backing out and whatever. Like, I, I, let's go. Let's have some fun. Let's entertain. Let's get some rewards. We'll use items. Um, but let's go and let's do this. Let's have a good time. I think I said hi to grass. What's up? Oh, man, what's up, dude? Again, another person who does not usually get to make my streams. Too bad it's bedtime. I missed the window with those fan. But I'm glad you're here. Scorpion, I did apply the uh, the code. I I often forget. I often don't remember to go in daily to that store. Uh, but when I do, it's really fun. Um, and I did, and it was it was honestly really cool. Um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Um, when I did, I realized there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There were, I think, nine deals that I have not purchased. Uh, they were the X Magica Advanced deal, which I probably will have bought one of those, actually, now that I think about it. Those crystals, like, there's, like, two champions I badly want. The rest I do have no interest in, much less for $90. Um, the Kushala ones, you know how bad I want to awaken her, but the chance to get a seven star is, like, 0. 0.3 or something like that. Uh, so, again, not for my $50. And we did test Spider Punk. He does seem really cool, but um, for a six star, you know, like I don't get me wrong. If I was still playing Tier One War with the amount of money, I know I'm not supposed to talk about this stuff, but I will. The amount of money that the uh, doing YouTube brings in, I would have, I would have probably gladly bought all of those because um, I would have wanted the the um, the dupe on uh, Kushala, 
And so any chance to get that would have been good. The chance to get some of those champions in the X Magic Crystal would have been awesome. And then Spider Punk, I think, actually might have a role in war. And DLL kind of talked about that while we were stream testing today. Mr. Omega Beast, what's up, bud? Thanks for a year and 13 months. That's wild. Oh, a year. Let's go with the year and 13 months. I don't care. I read it that way. Let's leave it away. Let's leave it that way. Uh, promotions, welcome to Discord. No cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a... I think I opened those crystals. Here, let me open up, let me confirm real quick, and then we will actually play the game. I realize you have to play the game in order to, to get the boss down. Uh, here's my daily Valiant. So maybe I didn't open them. Ooh. Ooh. I like, I like it. And what else is there? Um, Maybe I already opened up, dude. No, I didn't, here they are. Thanks for reminding me. I don't know how long those would have sat there. Let's pop them. Um, okay. I mean, that's not amazing, but for free, it ain't bad. That ain't bad for free. <laughs> They're like, we have a feeling you'll be needing these. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, man. Uh, I'm not, I, the luck is not strong with this uh, opening so far. The luck is not strong. Ooh, that's pretty good, though. I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. Um, Big question for you. Just finished my Act 8, Act 8, 100%. Now I have to choose between R3, Deathless King, Green, R3, Devil. So, dude, uh, <laughs> again, they're like, we heard you're going to need revives. <laughs> that was literally a topic of conversation on the stream today, testing uh, Deathless King, Groot, and uh, some other champions. You know, I, I do think Cosmic, as far as seven stars concerned, is the weakest as far as like what's available. That's, um, there are some really good, really good champions. Like, I mean, honestly, Venom, Deathless King Groot, I think are both great champions. Obviously can be used in Battlegrounds, whatever. Uh, I, I Right now, my front runner is actually Deathless King Groot. Um, I think he does a lot of damage, big healthful tool. I think maybe just when you need like a stall, put him on defense and BGs maybe. Uh, the armor breaks really good. He has two of those like um, power manipulation immunities as well. I liked him. I really liked him a lot. I I, I don't. I don't know. I, I think that's a go with who who you you like best because obviously Venom's phenomenal too, especially if the Ven Venom relic. Uh, OG Highline, dude, thirty one months long. T like you and and folks like uh, Ozfan and Morbius. I, it's a, it's incredible to me when I see those numbers. Thank you so much for all that support, buddy. All right, we gotta play the game though. We gotta play the game. We've we've talked, we've chatted. It's time to actually play. Uh, what was it here? We're supposed to, I think, get them to throw a special and then stun them, uh, if I remember correctly. I would like to get Onslaught going, or not Onslaught, jeez. You can tell where my brain's at. Uh, get Apoc going here a little bit and then uh, make a horse, a horse person. We have two women on the team. Let's be let's be proper. Let's be respectful. Uh, Simula, I would absolutely love that, dude. Uh, I know it's getting really late in the evening for you, but yes, I would. I would love that. Uh, yeah. You know what's going to be bad is I don't normally stream this late at night. And um, ooh, okay, that's not good. So we'll be restarting. Um, is her SB1 not punishable? I don't typically fight uh, Blackwood of Deadly Origins. Aaron from Ohio. Dude, thank you so much, man. Um, let's get that on the board. Makes me feel better about this amazing start we just got. Aaron from Ohio. Aaron, you had a really uh, smart call in the stream today. I don't remember what it was earlier. I headed back to bed, but I'll never tire of the Morpheus. Thank you for knowing what that is. Can we get a standing ovation for Aaron from Ohio for knowing exactly what I am copying there? Uh, this lane is very tricky. Okay. Um, all right. I, you know me, I would love to continue uh, reading chat, but we'll get nothing done if I constantly read chat. We're just going to get this done. I, I don't obviously don't want to start off with that. Like I said, I don't mind using items, but I don't want to... Uh, want to I don't want to revive on the first fight after doing no damage 
Uh, most of us don't. That's right. I, 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 I mean, when's the last time you fought a Black Widow Deadly Origin? You know what I mean? Uh, the Red Guardian Path. Sim, do you... Did I misunderstand? Sim, can you get on call? But, uh, and if you can't, like, that's totally fine. I just, um, in fact, you probably can't, which is probably why you didn't. Um, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, DTX. I'm, I'm actually really pumped. It's always hard for, because like, I've played with so many of those SSX guys for, I mean, DLL for eight years or whatever it is. Uh, where at? Oh, okay. Uh, you're in my server, right, bud? And uh, sorry, everybody. I know that um, that this will be helpful to get Sim on call. The man, like, wrote a guide to the fight. He knows a thing or two. Um, Sim, are you on Discord, bud? There you are. Oh, you can't see. You don't have the roll. Why do you not have the roll? Haven't you been on call before? Maybe Simula has never been on call. That's something we got to fix up soon. Let's get Sim on call. Hopefully everyone knows Simula. If anyone could link Simula's channel in the chat. Uh, honestly, you will be a better player if you watch his channel. I like pretty much guarantee it. Um, <laughs> that's like a money back guarantee. Okay, let's go ahead and get it, Sim. Uh, there you are, bud. Can you say a few things? Let's make sure we got your volume right. Hey, chat. It's sounds, me. Sounds perfect to me. Let me know if he's a little too low, a little too high, or just right. What's up, dude? How you doing? Good, dude. How are you? Um, I'm good. It's always it's like energizing to to stream and to chat and see so many uh, familiar names and stuff. Um, but I've had a long day, dude. I did the full I did the full dad routine today. Um, and uh, you probably didn't hear this part, but I was supposed to um, supposed to actually have a dad's night out tonight. But uh, it just didn't happen. We had uh, various activities from my older kids tonight, so we were running around and just making three separate dinners for people and. Uh, you know, game sounds sound really loud compared to a uh, sim, which makes me think they're coming through really loud for you all chat. Let me know if they are. Dude, I don't know what is up with that. While streaming, I have been, uh, it's like I cannot land a striker to save my life. That's weird. Yeah, it's, I, I don't, it must be something with the way I'm holding the phone. Um, so, you and B said that this was the, uh, you both insinuated that this was the hardest path. Um, I thought so, yeah. Yeah. Like, sure. the fights themselves are hard, or they make the boss fight hard? Uh, I think both, actually. I think this is the hardest trap for him, and I think it's the hardest lane in terms of path fights. Okay, the game's louder than you. I don't want that. I want people to be able to hear you. Um, why is that? Let's see if we can turn that down. All right, y'all. Let me know if that's a little bit better as far as the game sounds are concerned. I don't like when the, I like I like to be able to hear the game sounds. I don't want them louder than um, myself or definitely Simula. Um, I want people to be able to hear the the knowledge he's got. If you add a mutant power back boost to the boss fight, it becomes way easier. Yeah, I saw Nick do that this morning. Uh, he had Storm, which looked like a great option. And Nick's obviously a phenomenal player, too. So, um, all right. Um, yeah, you, have, you have really good options for this fight right now. So Okay, so I did load up on, on good options. That's good to hear. Um, yeah. Should I make a horse person now? And move over to them? Or... Um... If you know who you're going to use later. I don't. That's that's a problem. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. I don't know if I actually have a good team for this lane, though. Now that I'm looking at this. Uh, anybody really works here if you're just counting the champs. It's it's the weapon. The weapon is a little tricky because there are points in the points in the fights where your dex is turned off. And that's why you you're, you're getting hit by those specials because you're trying to dex, but you're getting hit instead. 
Dude, I, I'm no. always amazed at, at players like yourself who are able to fully understand these. Like, Oh, I, I went into this not fully understanding it. I had um, a bunch of people in chat, and I think Brendan on call explained to me what was going on. So I was in your position just a few days ago. Okay. Okay. Well, having you and B is like, you know, in a game of a lot of really smart players, having you and B is two of the smartest players in the game. So uh, if you two together can get it, I, I would be really worried. Yeah, so the deal is when the weapon is on cooldown and you see that like gray timer on him, yeah. your your dex is not gonna work. Hey, I landed a striker, buddy. I feel like game sounds are still really loud. I can't hear it at all, so I'm good. Um it would probably be helpful if I shared my screen now. Yeah? So we'll rectify I mean, I, that. I'm, I've, I've got the, um, the stream up, so I'm just a few seconds behind or whatever you have it set to. Dude, uh, chat, the game sounds, they're not loud on your end, so they did go down in your end. Um, <laughs> some people just chuckled really loud at that. <laughs> and by some people I mean me <laughs> uh, um, if you want to bring it up uh, I think I've now shared my screen if you don't okay. I totally get it um, what is this it's 11.30 for you right now yeah like we had like 20 after um, my, my opponent in battlegrounds tomorrow is informing me that there's no rush through this content Content in order to, <laughs> to rank up my uh, my champions. Coming in strong, Odysseus. I, I do think I do think I'm going to be way too exhausted. I was talking about like various bad ideas uh, that I sometimes have for streams. I I still want to do this, and I and I may one day do it. Um, I would like to do a stream as a, a basically an updated what is that? An updated uh, Randy Macho Man Savage character. I just think that would be hysterical, dude. <laughs> I think that would be so funny. Um, I need to bring back my uh, Karate Mike cosplay one of these days soon. Bring it back? Why did it ever go away? Why did it ever... The, the wig is so itchy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I actually have... Uh, I think I put a couple of those photos like on Twitter or on Instagram. I have a wig that's similar. It's white. Uh, I'm like kind of a crazy scientist type character. And uh, they are itchy. It gets in your eyes, right? Yep. Which is... Plus, uh, I, don't, I don't like wearing the tank top. <laughs> Too self-conscious to wear a tank top. There's that. I mean, most people should be. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Mike pulls it off, but I can't. He, the guy literally wears tank tops, an orange beanie, and holds a Pokemon plushie. And somehow, he looks all right doing it. I, I mean, that yeah. takes a certain set of, like... I think the kids say Riz. I believe the term is Riz. Um, We've been hanging around too many young people in the yeah. alliances. <laughs> uh, I told you how like a couple summers ago, I was on vacation and I used, uh, I didn't use the term Riz, but I used a term like that. And my oldest daughter was like, how do you know that? <laughs> my, um, my oldest is 10 and I, I will say like terms like that around him just to annoy him. Uh, it's like, please stop. <laughs> it is funny, especially like in public. <laughs> Depressing Cito. What did I just hear? What did I tune in for? <laughs> I hate that word. I hate that I know that word. I kind of do too. That's I do not. Yeah. Um, I'm not technically. In fact, uh, not that long ago, the people who who create the terms for these um, for these generations and things seemingly all agreed that I was not a, a millennial, nor was I a Gen X. Uh, and I I think it, that actually fits. I do not feel like I'm a millennial, and I do not feel like I'm Gen X. I kind of understand both of them, though. Um, my niece and nephew are very much millennials. Jeez, man, I. Do you know how to fight Hell Monkey sometimes? It's the true strike. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting uh, that. Did I say, I said cool, right? It's the true strike passive when he has it, his special attacks can't be fixed. 
Oh, there are special attacks. Thank you. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I've heard there's like a, a mini generation between X and Millennials called like the Oregon Trail generation. Yeah. And that's that's kind of like what I, I feel like. Yeah, because I think you and I are basically the same age. Um, yeah, a couple years, I think. Yeah. yeah. The set monkey is a jerk. We will get him down. I, I am not restarting the path. I don't care. And I'm enjoying this conversation too much. Um, yeah, so essentially there is like a five year period of time. I Lately I've looked that up and it seems like that's gone away. I don't know why. I think it completely fits. Um, my Like I was saying, my niece and my nephew are definitely millennials. And my oldest brother and his wife are very much Gen X. Uh, very, very much. And as they were raising my niece and nephew, they would often be like, hey, this thing's going on. What do you think? You know, because I'm, I'm, I am a good year, uh, good bit younger than my older brother. And um, I would be like, well, I kind of understand both of you guys. <laughs> like, uh, I think they're being a little too casual. And I, I think you guys are being a little too hard on them, a little too, like, serious. OK, maybe I should pay attention at least a little bit here. Frost, good job. Um, thanks for actually answering the chat instead of my yep, my no worries. my uh, focus focus on the game. I'll handle the chat. I can't do it, dude. It's weird. I'm it, like a kid in a candy store, and then you're like asking me to do the SATs, and I'm like, I'm I just the same way. I just want to eat the candy. <laughs> like I see all the chat right there. I'm like, I the instinctively want to answer everybody who's taken the time to be there. And I was like, I can't get everybody. It, right? it feels like I'm hosting a party and people are showing up. And I was like, why don't you guys watch me play cards instead? I don't know. I don't know how else to like, I, I, I don't, I know that's not, again, you can tell we didn't grow up with live streaming. I think is what it essentially is. Um, let's kill off, let's kill off Cable. Um... Okay, I actually want to see that because I see the I see someone talking about uh, Gladiator there. Yeah, uh, undupe Gladiator. The question was, um, should they rank down their Shocker to no. rank up their um, undupe Gladiator? No. I. <laughs> what did you say? I I said rank up who you like using the most because they're both very good and effective and, I, you know. I think Shocker is just fine. I wouldn't rank him down if I had him. Yeah, I, 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 geez, Louise, I can't dex to save my soul. Oh, wait, you keep telling me, no, she didn't have True Strike there. It's, that's a bad sign for the boss. <laughs> I think that, I mean, the, the boss is a little bit more straightforward than this path. This path I found very annoying. Uh, tier one players have that uh, special in their nightmares. Yep. Can't wait till they have the Alliance War showcase with Crush 2.0. People are gonna quit the game if they do that. I, I, I'm not kidding. Like, it's rough. It's rough. It, it, I I really hope they don't do that. Or it's like a like, for extra credit, you could try this silk. Yeah. Silk boss. Yeah, for like a cool profile or something. Actually, I might uh, pitch that idea because. <laughs> yeah. Do you know who you're subbing in before the boss yet? No clue. Okay. I would say on this. On this trap node for him, you want, um, so like the, the prowesses will start to expire one by one. So any anybody with prowess in their kit is going to be best. So like if you have like an OG Storm, she's she's the best overall option. I think. Would you believe I don't actually have her? I, I, I actually don't really believe that. <laughs> it started happening, you know, I, I, I mean, I dramatically reduced spending. It, it's been a while now. Um, mm -hmm. And every once in a while, I've started feeling it in Battlegrounds quite a bit over the last, like, I'd say five-ish months or so. Um, and I think this is the first time, like, in-game, I'm not going to have that, like, ideal option. Uh, it It's actually kind of fun. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I, yeah, I mean, don't don't get me yeah. wrong. Like Havoc and Emma are are probably in the top five there too. So you got really really solid options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna put like my picture next to Brian Grant and be like, we're basically yeah. the same. <laughs> we're we're, be, we're essentially we're essentially <laughs> the same. <laughs> um, I think that the if I saw the question, sorry guys, and everyone, please do not hesitate to repeat a question. I mean, please don't spam. Like if it's this, you know if it's only been 20 seconds. Uh, please, you know, I mean, if you want to, go ahead. Um, but don't block other people out. You've got Sim, an insanely smart player here. A lot of smart people in the chat. And uh, I do want to kind of get to these, but I want to get the fight down, especially while, while Sim is still on the line. Um, I want to answer that one question, though, because I think their Gladiator was unawakened. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I I mean, I like Gladiator in general. I will. I want to say, though, because I put out a video when he was his buff was in CCP explaining, I think he's going to be great. And then I was so sick, and I think I was even on vacation when his buff went live. And a lot of people did, uh, like, Winter of Woe, I think, with him. I saw a lot of really cool videos from, like, Nagase and and others who I really respect. Uh, really high skill players. And so that was really fulfilling for me to see. I want to throw out two things, though. I have actually struggled to use him in Battlegrounds, and it was the concern I brought up in my video was the AI. Like, how much is the AI just going to mess with you and make him an exercise in frustration? On the other side, though, on the plus side, is I have found his signature ability to be extremely helpful for, um, I think it was like Red Skull and Future Ant-Man. Yep. So, yep. Agreed. Yeah, I'm kind of talking out of both sides there, but it's 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 the truth. So, Yeah, yeah I found, um, I took mine to rank three, and I found that you have to be just a little bit more intentional with how you deal with the intimidate because you're absolutely right like it's it's not guaranteed and the, the ai at any moment will you know throw a special from the corner while intimidated and if you're just dashing in you know, willy-nilly you're gonna get pounded by it you know what i found too which is i mean i think the i think the the um I think the answer is probably just to really make sure you've got them in the corner, if you can, is I found the AI even willing to just back up, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, if you have them in the corner, then that should make that better. That problem, anyway. Yeah, for me, it's just like waiting like an extra beat or two to see you know to wait for the a to kind of like confirm what they're doing because if they're holding block they're probably going to continue to hold block while you're dashing in nice. yeah uh hurt carriage ether glycon how don't you need oh you get the prowess from um actually doing the fight right yep yeah i'm pretty Basically anybody can can do Glycon, but they're the champs that are better for it. You don't the only one you don't you don't want to use is you don't want to use somebody who can't crit. Um, oh, so like Guardian or one of those yeah. champions, yeah. Um, okay. Nice SPT decks. I yeah, yeah, it's hard. Thank you. I'll just say thank you. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> Uh, I might need to reset my phone. I don't know if you guys saw, that was two very not natural uh, actions. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just resetting my phone. We're not actually going anywhere. Uh, but those are two really bizarre lax, uh, spikes on my end. Um, I feel like they recommended... Oh, why didn't I bring in Sunspot? I have the Sunspot. I have a rank 2 Sunspot. It might be a little tricky to do his like optimal rotation, but as long as you can get some prowess with him, he should be good. And the guaranteed crits on every champ is is amazing. So that's what makes Storm so good. Uh, watching Nick go through the fight, it it looked really nice. It looked really smooth. Uh, he had power backs on, and mm -hmm. it it looked. Uh... It honestly almost didn't even look like a boss fight, um, but I, you know, again, Nick plus Storm makes sense. Yep. yep. Um, 
Um, I'm essentially just going to kill off these champions because I'm going to team revive and all that stuff. Yeah, a couple people saying with Sunspot just use SP2. That's probably what I would do too. <laughs> Odie says the trick is to use Sauron. <laughs> Odysseus! That is never the <laughs> trick. Let's get that straight right now. You know I'm totally going to die to Sauron tomorrow in our patch-up. <laughs> He's going to beat me 3-0, and I'm going to die. So I'm going to actually die to Sauron in every single matchup. <laughs> uh, hey, Vega, what do you think? I hope it starts this Friday. I don't think it will, though. I think it's going to start um, the following, because my understanding is that it typically starts the uh, the final week of, of uh, the month. No. Oh no, this is not good, guys. Uh, like, I just reset my phone. It's it must be me. It's got to be me because, like, even wrong buttons are being hit. So that is not the way we wanted to start this at all. Um, because we're going towards the boss, I'm gonna full heal everybody. And, um, Kate's being a butt. See you, OG Highland. Thanks for being her butt. Really appreciate it. Zach Richards re up in the membership for the 25th month. Stopping by to say hi, long time to see. Hope you're doing well. That's what I was thinking. Uh, that's them with saying your name. What's up, bud? How you doing? Yeah, Kate is like, uh, she seems to have forgotten all the nice things I've said about her over the years. <laughs> she, uh, she's like, in that first video you made, you said you thought I was the best skill champion in the game. I will never get over that slight. Jeez. Um, Good news, this is the last path fight, so. Yeah. You know what else happened, and I talked about this, because I've been streaming almost all of my Act 8.4, is um, I have been doing it itemless. Not that that necessarily was my goal, it's just the way it had been working out. And I'm like, I am taking it seriously, you know? Um, and I, a couple times, came pretty close to you having to use an item, but like on the boss fight, you know, just kind of able to pull it out of my butt or whatever. And... Um, and then last night, my wife and I were just both like dead tired, but not like quite ready to go to bed. We're basically like being like toddlers, you know, like it's clear you should go to sleep, but they're not for some reason. <laughs> yep, and I'm uh, familiar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Both because of having toddlers and you as an adult, you're like, no, this is my like one time to be an adult. Yep. Yep. And so I was like, you know, it's quiet. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, you know, I'm going to do one path of 8.4.4 and do one path of 8.4.5. And then that way I can at least do uh, completion. And I just the um, the Sam Wilson boss just destroyed me. I could not for the life of me figure it out. I don't know if I just didn't have good options uh, on my team. Do you remember this boss? Uh yeah, I used uh, I used Serpent and got the solo. He counters pretty much everything. He's got the Cold Snap immunity, and he's got the true... whatever it's called that counters the, um, the other stuff. Dude, I couldn't even for life of me think. I just I just was like, you know, I'm going to just revive spam and to get through it. Because I, I didn't want to back out. And I was like, even if I do back out, I can't think of who the good option is for this fight. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a real pain. Um... I had Venom. Um, His auto block is annoying. Yeah. Okay, so do we think I should take anyone out and move anyone in here? Uh, you, you probably don't need Cable anymore. So if you're going to swap somebody out, I would swap Cable out. Okay. Probably won't use APOC either. So anybody with prowess, a lot of prowess. 
Um, yeah, Sunspot or Kitty is good. Sauron's good. Storm P90X is really good. You know what, though? I can't put uh, relics on any of them, can I? Um, you cannot. So maybe just go with Sunspot. I think it was Mr. Omega Beast was saying uh, Sunspot worked out well, right? And um, they're a very good player, so... Odie says you can put a relic on them. Yeah, you can. I would I would actually be tempted to do it to Gambit, make Gambit a horse a horseman. Um So I just go to the Oh, Bishop's good too. Okay, I'll just go with Bishop. We'll we'll keep this simple. I, I I'm not I'm not doing that thing. You know, where I'm like, oh, I'm going to get my butt kicked. I'm not. I, you guys are about to see me get my ass kicked. I, I've been talking about it on my Discord <laughs> server. No, I'm serious. I'm being totally serious. Um, what's it called? Like sandbagging or something? Uh, you know, we all do it in some level. Uh, guys, it's going to get ugly. And um, that's fine. That That's that's just fine. I actually kind of wanted to stream it. There were some people on my server. And I was like, I want you guys to see how normal uh, what you went through is because a lot of people were like, you know, I kind of hide how many revives I use and these sorts of things. And I was like, that's the nature of it. You know, no one's proud of not doing well. Uh, so mm -hmm. yeah, let's just go and try to get through this. Uh, sandbag is the term. Thanks, Cyber. I'm used to that from my dad. My dad bowls. And so yeah, that was maybe the first time I'd heard the term. First pass is the funnest. Thanks, Morbius. All right. So any, any sort of 30 second pep talk here, Sam? Yeah, so at the start of the fight, what you want to do is is parry three times and then hit into his block with your first light three times. Then I'll, that'll give you six easy prowess. And if you're, um, and then after that, you you can't parry or or do the light attack in his block. Otherwise, he gets like an unavoidable evade trigger. Okay. Um, and then all of his all of his specials, if you get hit by them, they're gonna each hit does like three and a half percent of your health, and it will do that even if you block it. So the hardest part really is learning the timing of the dexes because you'll be rooted later in the fight. That's not until uh, phase three though, right? Correct. Okay. And if I remember your video correctly, it's like I can only damage him with combos, strikers, and specials that come from a punishment of his heavy or a special? Correct. So, so he's the punisher, so the idea is to punish his heavies and punish his specials. Oh, that's really clever. I Somehow I didn't catch on to that. Um, it's really obvious. I can't believe I didn't catch on. <laughs> um, and yeah, and you can use strikers to extend those combos and finish them with specials. Start with your bad options. Thank you for the raid, say Posse. Thanks, bud. Um, yeah, we'll start off with um, we'll start off with Apoc here. Oh, yeah. I should have made and a don't a don't horse hit him while first. he's stunned, or you'll take damage too. Okay. I'm a little concerned about starting the... Okay, so he's got a two. Okay, he he uh, he has a long recovery, like... Oh, he's hit him into his block and stunned him. Okay, I see what happened there. That's an A-block thing. I wonder if Apoc turns off his evade, actually. Why am I not damaging him? Um, um, I must have missed what happened. I thought I punished a special. I, I mean, I, I, that's the only thing I can think of is that I didn't punish a special. Inter oh, yeah. Apoc's... Um, well, it's my fault for... Okay. Uh, I feel like I was getting his moveset there a little bit. Uh, you can't interrupt that heavy, can you? You can, yeah, the, after the first hit, yeah. I found myself really wanting to do that. Um, I'm you, wondering if it's yeah. better. Yeah. Do you, you think it's better yeah, to try I, to interrupt? better, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to try to get that. You can't get hit by a specials at all. Is that what happened, Nick? Is I got hit by it, therefore... It doesn't count as a punish. Because I did get hit. I did either block it or get hit. Okay. But Mr. Vega be saying the same thing. You have to evade. Okay. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Hey, what's up, Manuel? How you doing, bud? 
you can just outrange SP1 and then dash in after that. He does kind of like a he does like a big jump backward, right? Or is that his SP2? Um, that's so right. SP1, he jumps up and like throws his axe, but yeah, his recovery time is really generous. So if you just outdistance it in this phase, you should be fine. Okay. Thanks, guys. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna see about the special one. Okay. It's like four four hits. Yeah. I'm just gonna get in some damage. Uh, I, I know it's probably not smart because I'm gonna push him to a special two, but it, it, there's just something I think mental about getting damage in, you know. Like having some progress. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that slow beam you talked about in your video. <laughs> yeah. Nice full dex there. Very nice. So anytime you do a full dex, you will remove one of the punishments on him. And that allows you to then redo it for additional prowess. So that's how you get like your special damage ramped up higher and higher throughout the fight. The problem is, is uh, the stun and the um, the uh, the hitting into his block are the only ones I know by by look by their insignia or whatever it's called. It's uh, it's stun, hit into block, use a striker or damage with a striker, intercept, and then damage with a special attack. Okay, I was hoping for a little more out of Emma there. But um, for my first two attempts, I, I, it feels really good to already have him down 35%. Um, That's just phase one, though. Yeah, hey, 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 whoa, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I, I wanted to make it, because La Legacy got caught by this, too. He thought he thought it was one health bar, and he was a little a little perturbed to find out that he healed back to full. Oh, poor Lax. <laughs> wanted to make sure that you, you were aware of that, too, is all. Poor like too. I can imagine that moment where he's like, "What? What is it? Bumped? What's going on? Why is this yeah, happening?" His, re his reaction was pretty funny. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Oh, maybe I'll go back and watch it. He's a funny guy. I like Lags. Uh, all right. Um, how am I gonna get my prowess with Bishop? Um, anytime you take a blocked hit. There you go. You know a lot about this game. Has anyone ever told you that before? <laughs> yeah, so what makes this lane hard is all the all the prowess that you're getting from doing this stuff, they're falling off one at a time unless you intercept them. Intercepting causes your striker stun to fail. It's super annoying. Nice. Okay. Dude, we're halfway to beating him. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> No. He's like, I didn't find your joke funny. <laughs> I found he doesn't look like a humorous guy. He do, he doesn't look like some someone who would laugh very much. <laughs> uh, don't worry about building bishop's prowess and node prowess is what help you pop off. All right, thanks. Yeah. Um. Let's say people are just chatting to each other, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Um. Oh, what's up, Ben Trasis? How are you doing, bud? <laughs> 20 minutes behind. <laughs> Why does YouTube do that, man? I feel like that hasn't happened know. to me as much lately, but, like, of all the, like, weird things, that's one of the weirdest. Don't hit him while he's, while he's stuck. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You'll get the things on your stuff.
It's easy to get cornered. Mm -hmm. You know, we're doing well enough. I think it might be time for mutant power batch. Definitely gonna help. Yeah, uh, I kind of wanted to make sure I had his animations. I think watching your video as much as I did and then watching Nick a little bit this morning, I think has been really helpful to me. Uh, I, and I know the other pages are going to get harder, so don't don't worry. I think we're going to have to push him to a special two just to bank space. I'm going to have to dex it anyway at some point, right? So might as well get used to it. Yeah, I mean, the special two, you can outdistance everything except the axe at the end. Why did he, why did he evade? What did he do? You had, um, I think accidentally stunned him when he was at max stuns. Oh, the striker, right? Yeah, one, one of the punishments was already at three and you did it again. Okay, and that's cool. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Um, thank you, Antrasis. Uh, I parried? Okay. Um, yeah, it's time for mutant power backs. Let's throw on a couple boosts here. Yeah, that'll help you quite a bit, I think. Uh, uh, Sim, I don't say this to make you sad, I'm sorry. But since I don't do war anymore... <laughs> <laughs> that does make me sad. <laughs> I know, I know. It does. It makes me feel a little sad, too. Um, I don't have uses for those things anymore. So, yay. I guess it feels weird, too, because it's like, oh, is this how normal players play the game? <laughs> like, <laughs> everyone's just boosted up. I uh, can't use my advanced power boost, though. That's a shame. All right. Uh, let's... Um, I yeah, feel like... Good... Go for it. I was going to say, good, good shot from Doug. If you do see the evade icon pop up, you can remove it by, um, like, special intercepting or striker intercepting. It won't do damage, but it'll remove the evade. All right. Um... You know, Emma, Emma actually felt really good for this. Maybe it's just because it was like my first um, not bad run. But uh, she felt good. Maybe it's just because she's tanky. Yeah, and Diamond Force. She can take a lot of punishment. Yeah, you're definitely getting the hang of it now. Yeah, the I don't want to jinx myself, but the SP one, I feel, I feel pretty confident. You know what it is? Is um. So he's got the evade now, so he'll use a striker instead of hitting him. Yeah, just like you taught me. There we go. Yep. Just like you taught me. Your Emma's ranked too, right? Yeah. She's a big girl. I duped mine the other day, and I was thinking about picking her up. So. All right, so phase two. Um, 30, uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, you so, mind? Yeah, fa phase two, he won't use any special until you get him to two bars, so you can use that time to kind of build up some punishments on him. Mm -hmm. When he's at two bars of power, he will randomly choose either special and uh, if he chooses the special one, he'll be unstoppable. And if he chooses a special two, he'd be unblockable. And you need to do a full dex, or those effects will linger after the special is over. Okay. Um, you know what? I realized I don't think we got your channel um, linked in the chat. If if someone doesn't mind doing that, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys all know who Simula is, but on the off shot, you don't. I don't want you to miss out on this man's channel. So if some if one of the mods could put that in the chat and then I will pin it, um, I think it'd be really good for everybody. What's up, work? Work is here. What's up, dude? 
Thank you very much, Work. So I will replace the pin message. And anyone who just tuned in know that this is not going to be a full exploration run. I will open the initial completion um, rewards, though. All right. So, so you just have to know. Is there? Uh, didn't you say that there's some indication of what special is coming? Uh, so not really because the animations both start very similarly. Okay. So you really have to kind of train yourself to look for like the color of the icon. So if you like, you see a yellow unstoppable icon, you know, it's a special one. If you see purple, it's a special two. That's, that's what worked for me anyway. Okay. That's just going to take a while to get that to muscle memory. Cause there's no way like mm -hmm. knowing that's going to mm -hmm. help you punish it, you know? Yeah, and after he uses a special, he'll like rapidly oh, no. build up his power again. So it just he just does it on repeat. Okay. We're dead. We're dead. I knew. I knew we were dead. I knew we were dead. What's that? Bias, how you doing, bud? Uh, the run's actually been much better than I thought it would would go. I I I'm honestly like having fun. I think, as usual, I have an insanely smart uh, MCOC friend on call in Simula, and so that is insanely helpful. Uh, so I'm sure that's going a long way to it. But um, but I'm actually having fun. I, I kind of like this boss. Uh, we'll see. He, he if, is fun. He is, right? Like, there's nothing he's that like... feels cheap so far, either. Yeah, he's definitely the kind of boss where like you're gonna like you're gonna struggle at first, but like once you get him down, he it's gonna seem like way more smooth. And I never really got into that kind of rhythm with like Bahamut or Cytalis, for example. Nope, no, I didn't either, like at all. No, why did I do that? Uh, regular gameplay mind took over. No, why did I do that? That was not on purpose. Nice. Man, guaranteed crits in her special two is so nice. <laughs> Oh, like I see what you're saying about he's just going to gain power. Yeah, so if, if you miss the dexes, then he just corners you and it's really hard. <clears throat> oh, no. I am. Just, I I know this isn't a uh, long-term good move, but I'm just going for it to get what, off whatever I can. Mm -hmm. She is not. Um, I, I'm not complaining, but she's not. I think because I'm not able to play full Danny. Um, maybe that's something to kind of work in. He's the getting, trap is is difficult too. That was going on because I'm like I don't really feel like I'm getting the chance to sit there and have them hit into my block though. In the um, in the other two paths, the prowesses last for the entire phase, so you can just stack them up as high as you want. And her SP two hits really, really hard. Okay, I can see that. Uh, I keep forgetting to make a, a horseman. Um, who should I make a horseman? Does it, I mean? Does it matter? None of them are really. I'm not sure it matters. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Okay. Uh, let's just keep it going. This is I'm uh, I'm actually having fun so far.
So like, I think that's a place where they could have made this cheap and they clearly didn't, is they could have made any hit into the block uh, be a problem. It's that first light. So like, they're messing with your muscle memory a little bit, mm -hmm. but not as bad as they could have, in my opinion. Nice, nice. Come on, dude. Ah, why did I do that? How do I get out of this? Um, maybe, well, like that, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't my best friend. Uh, just Dre, I, I mean, I can see how it, I could see how it gets frustrating. I, I, mm -hmm. I'm not even close to that yet at all. Dog Ray, thank you so much. Is that Ghost Dog? What? Are you serious right now? Thank you so much, guys. All right. Uh. I mean, feel weird saying it. I'm kind of having fun. Yeah, your only other like option when you have the evade is just to keep taking block hits until it pushes you over a special. This was a boss where, like, I kind of wish that there were six paths in this quest. <laughs> Just because you want to, you like, I've I learned him, I want to do more. Yeah, 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 I wanted to do it more. Uh, I can see that because it's, it, it feels doable. And I, so I think as a result, um, it feels satisfying when you get it right. Like, you don't feel like, oh, I got really lucky. Whoo, don't want to do that again. You know, mm -hmm. it feels more like, oh, I did the right thing. Like right now when I'm getting these specials, it feels really good. <laughs> um, like this whole run with Havoc feels like I did well. Well, as I do that, but you guys get my point. <laughs> Would, uh, would Havoc's SP3 hit like a truck here? Um, probably similar to the SP2, I would imagine. Okay, so not worth going for. Yeah, I would stick to the SP2. Alright, you're out of strikers and specials now, so you have to... Hopefully he relinquishes one of them on the next dex. No, I'm dead. That was a good run. Yeah, it was. So that's the other thing. Like if um, if there's anyone in the chat, and thanks guys, everyone chatting. Go stop. Thanks so much for being here. Um, is one of the things I think is uh, keeping me from getting frustrated is I am not trying to solo this fight at all. Like I, I am just not. Like I'm just trying to get off whatever damage I can with the champion that's in the fight. And so almost any progress feels good. Yeah, Apox is just not good for this, I don't think. Oh, no, wait. Okay, there we go. That's the trick. Time, huh? Oh, 
Almost there. No, did not mean to do that. Crap. Bahamut is fun, playing tennis is fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I think I didn't understand that fight as well as I seem to understand this one. So I, that also definitely contributed to a lack of enjoyment. I think uh, Lex said he, the ping pong thing was uh, inspired by uh, a Legend of Zelda fight where you do a similar thing against uh, Ganon. I don't remember which game it was, though. There's been so many Zeldas over time. Yeah. Yeah, why am I telling you that? <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting that you can punish the uh, the heavy. Like that's that's a tactic that I don't think I have been doing enough. Yeah, Silk's auto evade works, and miss um, miss mechanics still work too. So, like that's Kitty is really good as well. Uh, I tried to punish that too early. See, like right here, I'm going to try to bait the heavy and just finish him. Okay. Nice. I, I think that might, um, I think that might be a viable tactic. Like if anyone's really struggling and also has a rank two Emma, so um, <laughs> I might take that back a little bit. She can kind of take a bit of a... I mean, she took a lot of... I did that three times there. And she still has a reasonable amount of health. And you're getting something off. Like, it might be a way to just kind of help you start to feel comfortable. I don't know. Just an idea. Um, okay, so now... Now, uh, now, 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 now what? All right, so phase three. Um, he's back to, like, the way his specials work in the first one. So you can stick to the SP1 if you want. But your special... You'll be rooted during his specials. Um... So yeah, a little extra, uh, extra difficult. Okay. And then when you get him down to one percent, he will trigger a sixteen-second indestructible, and if he hits you at all, you instantly die. So then, once the indestructible wears off, you need to punish a heavy or a special to beat him, and you can still take blocked hits; those won't kill you. Once the indestructible falls off. Well, during the indestructible, you can still take block hits too. You just can't take a real. Oh, block. okay. But he and he no longer has the massive power again, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. I, 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 it doesn't sound bad. I say now. Um, <laughs> Giant Walrus dealing been dealing with serious nerves about this boss. Hearing your extremely casual demeanor towards this was definitely needed. That's awesome to hear, dude. Uh, sounds like you already know Sim, so make sure you watch his video. Um. Yeah, man. Like, uh, I mean, I know no, I, it's it's taking the pressure off of like trying to get a solo or something like that. And like I said, I, one of the reasons I wanted to do this was to show people how normal it is to struggle with these. I'm really good at showing people that. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do this. Dude, did you see my uh, my alliance mate uh, get a bug where like he couldn't get to um, this next phase? Oh, dude, you even get rooted in oh, the heavies. The he yeah, the heavies, too. That is not okay. So, also notice that all the punishments are maxed out already. And uh, when you perform the actions, you remove them. So, like, for example, um, if you remove all the parry ones, then you can safely parry them for the rest of the, the phase. It, it kind of works differently than in the first one. Okay, relapsed demeanor may have just fallen out the window. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you repeat that last part one more time about right. the? So all the punishments are they they're starting out at max max stacks now. So like they each have a three. Yeah. And then when you perform the associated action, it's removing them instead of adding them. So now you don't want you don't want to perform any of them. No, you you do because it'll it'll remove them, and that when you remove them, you'll get a prowess instead of. 
you get the prowess when you remove it, or you get the prowess yes. when you remove it and in, then add it back on? In this phase, you get a prowess when you remove it. You don't, you're not adding it back on at all. Dude, you know this fight so well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, um, I mean, the only thing to wa the yeah. other thing to watch out for is that because the intercept punishment is maxed, your parries and your striker stuns have a like a ninety percent chance to fail. So you want to try and and work from like the right side back. So, like intercept a bunch to remove that. Use your specials. Jesus, dude, that right there is is uh, really tough. I, I don't. Yeah, he just, he's like Mysterio with those heavies sometimes. Yeah. So my whole heavy strategy that I've been relying on is is no good. No, why wasn't that enough? Okay. So like this this is what I want to stop happening is like that like kind of freak out is setting in that that stress that uh that Walrus was talking about. Oh my god. Everything I was doing the first two phases is now not working. He's not unblockable in the special, is he? No. No, it's it's four dexes. Um Yeah. The special the the heavy like the random heavies when he's dashing for you towards you is is pretty irritating sometimes for sure I, I, you saw a bunch of that already yeah like when you're mid decks and he's starting heavy and he just catches you with it well the thing too was i you know in the first couple phases i used the heavy punishment that baiting heavy heavy punishment is like a way to kind of get like a little confidence going get a little bit of the flow mm -hmm. of the fight and mm -hmm. and that is not happening here you can still do that here like i mean you'll, you'll be rooted during the heavy so just punish after the first hit rather than trying to do both dexes Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, that's probably... I was trying to probably dex both. I think I was so shocked I got rooted the first time. Okay, so doing that... It looks like I'm getting the tip to maybe use a special during that, because that would still count as a heavy punish, wouldn't it? Mm, yes. Okay, cool. Thank you, everybody. Uh, let's try to get a little action here with Havoc. So, this is for me where I'm like, I just want to take off a little bit. Like, if I just move that health bar down to 99%, I'll feel good. We just did it. I feel good. There we go. We're cooking now. Oh, he's he's quick. Nice. Yeah. That's some oh, nice coach. Nice. That's some nice coaching <laughs> up you all did. You already did all your intercepts now, too, so your stuns are going to work and your strikers are going to work, too. Mmm, that special rooted, I'm not getting. I'm not getting. But, again, like, just these little... Con like, I took 26% of the health off. That's awesome. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. Uh, can I say something? Items maybe use L not to expire. Say, you know this, uh, dude. This is so annoying. Why did why did uh, YouTube put like this little like I'm gonna heart that? Yeah. And th now I'm just floating hearts up, which is really cool. It actually is nice when you look up and you see that. But now I can't read all of what Entrastus wrote. But I think they're saying something mm -hmm. very nice. So, yeah. Um. Yeah. Item items are made to be used, not to save. Oh, exactly. Like selling potions or whatever, like yeah, let's not do that. So I'm just gonna go for the heavy right into the special. Oh, dude, yeah, you guys, that was such <laughs> that, that was awesome. That's such great advice from you all. Uh, I'm still not getting the punishes. There we go. 
Yeah, baby. Bishop's regen comes in real handy here, too. Oh, I forgot, forgot that that was the uh, heavy animation. Yeah, Akbar, if you punish it like too quickly, you'll stay rooted. So you have to like kind of tell yourself to wait an extra frame or two. Yeah, I had that happen um, once or twice here. And we're just going for it. I know, I know that we may even send him red. I don't care. We're That was fully the plan, fully the goal. Good to see you. What's up, dude? Thank you so much. These are the two, we got the two geniuses, one on call, one in the chat. Make sure you check out their guides. Woo. I love the way his special three animation, like, like seamlessly goes into his victory animation. It's really cool. <laughs> it, 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 I actually am enjoying it. Like this is, this is how this game is, you know? Like this is how games are now, uh, or at least mobile games. Like there was a time where like if I had died this much, you had to start over. <laughs> you didn't you didn't get to keep trying. Sam, you know what I'm talking about. Yep. Yeah, in terms of like like I I practiced a bit on each boss just in order to get the guides out, but like on the live server, which is typically months later, like this is definitely the boss that I got had the least amount of frustration with, just because it, it seemed like you're like you're seeing here, like you, you can make progress and feel like you're learning on the fly, and you're still doing damage instead of just feeling really bad about dying a lot. And and maybe I'm I, I don't think I am. I don't think I'm fooling myself. I think I'm actually doing real things that required being better at the fight. I'm mm -hmm. I'm Definitely. not like I don't feel like I'm unit manning my way through this. So there is still a feeling of satisfaction. I, I I really like this fight. I, I see why so much of the feedback has been so positive on it. I I really like this fight. Um well, let me get through that indestructible, but nothing has felt cheap. Like I, I definitely mm -hmm. feel like they could have made the second hit into the block uh, a punishment, you know, and they didn't. They could have. Mm -hmm. I'm really tempted to just go single revive Emma now. I, I think we're at that point. Yeah, no need to heal up at this point either. I don't think. No. No, I mean, if you get hit in the in the indestructible, it's it's a KO no matter what. So. Okay, I'll just do a little bit just to kind of. Um, you guys like said one that you... big SP two from her is gonna is gonna knock him out. Oh yeah, good point. Uh, you feel that this was the uh, potentially the hardest um, lane and node and all that stuff. Oh yeah, the the next two will seem very easy compared to this. I think. <laughs> You'll be doing a lot more damage. Okay, so just don't get hit, right? Correct. You can take block hits and block special hits, but you cannot take a direct hit. Oh no, Emma didn't didn't do what she was supposed to do. Emma. You know, I sent him red. I'm I'm fine with it. You're fine. Maybe her concussion. Oh, you can't do anything about their ability accuracy, right? I remember you saying that. Yeah. So, but funny, funny, uh, fun fact: the indestructible is not a 100% chance, so 1 in 2,500 attempts, he will actually not trigger it at all. <laughs> 2, I haven't seen anybody do it. <laughs> 2,500? Yep. That's kind of cool. <laughs> That's cool. Waiting for somebody to post it that they got it. <laughs> What's up, Jacob? Yeah, people were joking. I'm a full-time streamer now, baby. <laughs> I, I'm a full-time <laughs> streamer all week. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I think Emma's been the MVP, so she deserves, uh, she deserves us. So just don't get hit. Don't get hit. Try.
And he's... I don't think he'll start indestructible here, so you might need to beta heavy to trigger it again. I'm just trying to buy time. Uh, how do I kill him again? I have to hit him with something? Do a da like any damaging combo after. So beta heavy. There you go. Nice. Well done. Uh, <laughs> Dude, MVPs, absolutely, Simula, and Emma Frost. That was awesome. Thank you so much for being here. And MCOC Noob. Make sure you check out Simula and MCOC Noob's guides. Uh, this was the completion run. So I think we're going to have some stuff to open up. I, I don't remember exactly what the rewards are. I'm not going to do that mistake that I have done before where I exit out before finishing the quest. Really <laughs> fun fight. I, I, it feels like you can get better at it. Are there Titan shards in here? Please be Titan shards. There's no Titan shards. There's Titan shards. Oh, wow. There's a lot to open. Okay, so we're going to open up a seven star crystal. Uh, a Titan and a six star relic. Um, and I think we're going to have at least one seven star, another seven star crystal. So let's go ahead and open these up. This is cool. Um, no, no, I don't think I will. <laughs> I get why some people have done it. I think it's either you're like massive, massive whales or people who like maybe needed it to hit Paragon. Uh, or Valiant, I mean, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's what I would guess. So, okay, I'm so pumped up right now. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, I, I got to claim that crystal. At least take a second to do that. What should we open up first, Sim? What do you think? Uh, probably the basic sevens. Okay, let's do it. Uh, I, I, oh, no, I asked Sim and then I didn't do it. That is bad, bad. I mean, you is... could do the relics first. It's no, like... that is... That is like asking someone which car, like to, <laughs> to, to cut the deck and then you don't do what they said. That is a sure way to lose all your money immediately in Vegas. Um, uh, shard crystals tab. Yeah, okay. You can tell I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, we got we got two. We got two seven star crystals to open. Let's get a juggernaut and let's awaken spot. Oh, we're at it, right? I mean, come on. That's easy to do. Uh, I feel like I'm facing a lot of juggernauts <laughs> in Battlegrounds. <laughs> they're hiding too because they're not awakened and they're ranked two and they're all the way at the bottom. <laughs> I wouldn't mind awakening Silk too. That would be good. I seriously, I, whatever. I don't even care. I'm so happy about how well the boss went um, that I don't even care. I do care, <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> That's a dupe I would like, but I, I, I get it, SIG-80. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, whatever. I mean, she actually did some really good stuff in War. And mm -hmm. shockingly was not slow in Battlegrounds. Um, so, yeah. All right. Well, we got we got more. We got more where, where that came from. So that's not going to slow us down. Let's do a third one, too, if you want to. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh, uh, let's do it. If you're uh, if you're around, I know it's getting late. All right, come on. I'm good. Is this one gonna be the juggernaut? Is this gonna be the silk? Is it gonna be the spot? Okay. Never gonna complain about that. Never, ever, ever until he's sig two hundred. In my battleground stack, I want that sig going up. Sig eighty, good, good. That is what that is. Those are the sorts of misses we want around here. Those are the sorts of misses we want around here. Uh, Joey, I mean, her sig is good. What's up, Joey? What's up, Akbar? Thanks for being here. <laughs> Fausty, what's up, dude? What's up, Fausty? All right, cool. Uh, let's pop a couple six stars so we can get one more seven star crystal. Um, yeah, we don't need to pop too many. I think let's pop five. That should do it. Um, or am I that bad at math? Nope, we got nope. it. Okay. You're good. Here it comes. Actually, you know what? I don't I don't think this is gonna be good. I'll I'll admit. I think the Titan's gonna be great though. Who are you hoping for? Um 
I mean, I would love to awaken Kushala. I got Onslaught my last Titan, so um, I would love to awaken <laughs> him as well. Um, he, I'd love to get Chill. I would love to get Chill. The pool is so good. There's like barely any misses in there. Yeah. yeah. Even the misses are like, I'll get over it, you know? Mm -hmm. Not Rocket Raccoon. I would have loved for it to have stopped on Korth. This is the thing. I mean, the seven star pool is still, it is really good, especially people who live through the initial six star pool. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> you can tell. You can. I think you can kind of tell veterans who are like, well, it's really good. And people are like, in comparison to what? And you're like, let me show you what the six star pool look like, <laughs> you know? Uh, um, so, yeah, but that's obviously not what I wanted. Uh, but I told you, I didn't think it was going to be good. So here we go. We are on to the Titan. Where is it? Where are you? Here we go. So, I mean, uh, Bullseye would be great. White Tiger would be great. Onslaught would be great. Red Skull would be great. Chill would be great. I actually would love to awaken my Morbius. Warwolf by Night would be great. Kushala would be great. Uh, awakening my Destroyer would be awesome. Serpent would be good just to get that going, even though I have the six star. Uh, I like Ironheart. I, I, you, are you, you're liking yours, yeah? I, I took mine to rank three. Oh, there you go. After that, I finished exploration. So, that's all you yeah. need to hear right there. <laughs> Luke Cage has been destroying stuff. People are doing good things with dust. Like, this is going to be good. I can tell. I can tell. Here we go. So many, it's weird, there's so many champions I would love to awaken. That feels unusual, going into the Titan. That's a new experience for me. Oh, that's so good! <laughs> oh, man. What is this? It, he crashes the game when he comes out of crystals. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if you're... <laughs> I mean... I... <laughs> that's so good. Oh, congrats, dude. I love it. Oh, he really does. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I broke the game. I broke the game. We did it. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought the joke was just you were being clever. I didn't realize the the joke was like no, he actually crashes the game. <laughs> Uh, and Trascus, that is the Brazilian uh, DC Wonder Woman. She's a, um, it's a good read. <laughs> it is a good read. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, I, you know that that's a great pull because I did feel like it hard stopped and Kushala was next and I'm still happy. Like, I'm, Either I'm way, it would have been good. Yeah, but like, so here now, now I'm in dilemma land. Well, actually, I'm not. I, I got to open up my crystal. But the cool thing is, I was pretty much going going to go with King Groot at rank three. It was between King Groot and Fox if I pulled a cosmic. Now I feel like it kind of almost has to be Serpent. I really like Deathless King Groot though. Um, do you? I mean, I, I assume you have no regrets about yours. N no, no, not at all. I mean, Serpent is great offensively. He like he's worth the rank up, um, but you're really missing that death immunity without the dupe on the defense. Yeah, that's true. I mean, with me having a six star centered rank five six two hundred, you can see me still placing my um, my six star in battlegrounds. Even mm -hmm. uh, that's interesting. That's an interesting point. Um, and where am I in Titan Shards? I think I'm still pretty good ways away. Uh, might as well start the next path, and then we can kind of chit chat a little bit more. Sim, uh, dude, at yeah, any I'm point, a, I'm yeah. gonna uh, peace out for the night. Yeah, uh, thank you so much for being here, buddy. Seriously, you're most welcome, dude. Big yeah. uh, congrats on the on the Titan pull. That's awesome. Thanks, I'm pumped up. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Simio. All right, take it easy. Bye. That was pretty darn cool. Um, hey, it's Zodes here. What's up, bud? If you show the player the the first six-star pull, they think you were as nuts because it was all bust. It's true. I thought someone wrote, I think it was Sim wrote, that it was pre-buff um, Red Hulk. 
right? Uh, so that's one. I think I pulled Luke Cage as my first six star. Again, pre-buff. And he was like one of the really good ones, if I remember correctly. There was someone else in there that was considered a good pool. And nowadays people would just be like, what are you talking about? Angela, thank you. Kingpin, all pre-buff. Yeah, you guys are right. You guys are right. Um, shoot, I don't know what to do as far as um, as far as streaming is concerned. Uh, it's getting late. I am excited. Um, maybe we'll do a little bit of Battlegrounds. Maybe do a little bit of Battlegrounds. Um, yeah, I'll play a couple. I'll I'll do one live Battleground. I'll see how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling Feeling spry, maybe I'll do a couple. Uh, otherwise, we'll just do some friendly battlegrounds for a bit because that was awesome. That was fun. Um, I kind of want to do. I think I want to save that boss for my uh, full exploration run. Um, and I feel like I got it down. I feel like I got it down. You all had some really good tips. Sim obviously had great tips. I'm not joking, guys. I've watched Sim's video like three or four times. I watched Noob's video like three or four times as well. Watched it this weekend for the first time. Um, they're both fantastic. I don't think you need to watch both. I actually recommend watching both, though. Um, and then even with all of that, you all and Sim on call, uh, especially with like that heavy punish, that that was massive for me as far as getting better at it. I don't need to, I don't need to do that. Um, that was huge for me feeling really confident about the fight and kind of feeling like, okay, I'm not going to have to just unit man my way through this. I can get better. I can make meaningful progress. So if you're struggling with that fight at all, watch those two videos um, and then just try to make some progress. Don't, don't worry about soloing. Like don't, you know, I did solos in Necropolis. It was really fun. Uh, but my best runs, my most fun runs is when I wasn't too stressed at all or worried at all about getting a solo of any, of any sort. Uh, Nebula was one of the better pools, also pre-buff. You guys are right. I didn't realize how many, how many of the champions were buffed. What's up, PP? How you doing, bud? Jugs was there too. Storm. Are you guys making stuff up now? Was it really that bad? That was a terrible pool. Um, I can tell. I I want to talk. So we we may only just do one uh, live battlegrounds and then we move to uh, to friendlies for a little bit. That bar it was so bad. I remember my memory is like, they like sold a crystal that had like Dormammu in it maybe as a five star. And it was a really expensive crystal. And I, was it Dormammu? It was someone and I wanted to like awaken them. And then, um, yeah, I am not paying attention at all. And then like within days, they like came out with the, the newest rarity of champions. Oh, there was outrage. I was so angry. I was so upset. Um, who's my opponent got here? Kenny, dude. Kenny's been amazing for me. Um, if I got a, a Mystic 2-3, I probably would take up Sassy. Trappy has just shown so many cool things with uh, Sassy. Rank 3, two, total dual threat champion, I think, at rank 3. Uh, you know, when you're playing in, you know, Mysterium and obviously Celestial, where Trappy's playing. Um, yeah, we're good. Um, but Kindred, man, even if you know how to fight them, it's you can you can mess it up. Like it, it, it's just. Uh, should I use should I use CGR or Massacre? CGR or Massacre? CGR. Shocker nerf plus <laughs> and Trastus. DLL's gonna see you, my friend. Um, I, so, in all seriousness, and I will talk about it seriously, it, it, it's not, I, I get it, it has the effective result of nerfing a fight Shocker used to be able to take. Uh, but I, I did, I was being serious in that video I made. I, I, um, I was very worried because uh, I love Shocker, as, as you probably know. Uh, that was weird.
Jeez. Um, an Ascended versus the Seven Star. What rank was this? I mean, I felt it, just those hits into the block, and then obviously the damage wasn't there. Um, I imagine they're running Inequity. Um, I'll go back and see what rank that was. Because I felt like I played that fight really well. It didn't feel any different than other times I've done that fight. Yeah, well played, well played to Rip Monster. That's just a rank two, she's not even awakened. What's up, Aiden? How you doing, bud? Still live? Uh, dude, uh, yeah, I don't think, I don't have it in me to do another run, too. But, uh, it went really well, buddy. It went really, 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 really well. Um, so I'm pumped up on it. We'll do, and I'll do some Battlegrounds friendlies, too, after this. I, I can tell I'm not paying enough attention to, uh, to do ranked matches. So we'll do some friendlies, just kind of hang out. Um... Yeah, Eric, I, I'm very excited about the opening. I am... Oh, wow, you can see how much I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I mean, Rip Monster outplayed me anyways here, but... Um, yeah. Congrats on Serpy. Uh, no, oh, Aiden, so it wasn't a full exploration. It was not a full exploration. That's another reason why we're stopping. Oh, I guess if it was full exploration, we'd probably still stop too. Uh, but I'll I'll come back try to finish up 8.4 in the next couple days. Yeah, I'm playing bad. This is why we stopped playing, too. Uh, rank the new Serpent and test in BGs. I, I mean, I can only take him to rank two. And I think Sim made... Uh, wow, so the SP1... Uh, the SP2 may have actually killed that, that fish. The rank, uh, SP... Um, the Serpent's not awakened. So, I mean, I think that is a great future pool. I'm extremely excited about that. Wow. Could I be playing worse? I gotta hope this kills. Uh, but with me already having the six star rank five ascended six two hundred, and I think the immort death immortality and all that stuff. Now, if I awaken that serpent, uh, ooh wow, CGR. I did not know CGR could do that. That's um, incredible. That's the um, this whole damnation, I guess. Yeah, for the competitive modes I'd want. All right, uh, anyone want to do a friendly? Let's do some friendlies, hang out for a few minutes, and then we'll call it a night. I uh, missed most of the stream. How to check the boss. I actually really enjoyed this boss. I enjoyed him on the passes I did where he wasn't bucked. It sucks that you have to qualify it that much, and I know what you mean. <laughs> um, one of my alliance mates got stuck in a bad bug. Um... Yeah, Aiden, I'm really curious about that that fight, actually. Um. It looked like they took 12 hits into block as well. Or 12 hits. Oh, Jane, was that you, dude? I'm sorry. That... Don't get me started, man. We've been having a nice night, and I I'm just going to say I'm really sorry. And I would be... Yeah. Let's leave it at that for now.
Um, and, oh, and Trassus, back to the shocker thing. Okay, one, just flat out, they, they being Kabam, should have made us all aware of it well in advance. Just flat out should. There's like, there's no, there's no way around that. And my understanding is Mike, uh, Kabam Mike, wrote, did write a community post uh, essentially saying, we're sorry, we've messed up. We realize we've messed up. Uh, you know, we'll do better, that sort of thing. Um, and I think they're even offering rank down tickets. I think, I'm pretty sure I saw that in a, uh, I'm in like a SSX alumni sort of, it's like a, they call it family chat. Um, and I think I saw that. And so I actually think that's really cool, right? I mean, we all mess up. Um, Kabam do be messing up a lot lately though. So I think it's hard to separate that all out. Right. Like, I mean, I love tier one war. I love war. And I love, I, like, I consider many of the guys in SSX and for Loki for that matter to be like friends. Um, and I feel like war is so messed up that I was like, I can't do this. Um, so it's just like, I think the timing of it all was shocker. It's just so brutal. I think it on its own, like this happened like during a period of like, like right after Necropolis was released and it's like, oh, we've got this great content. It, things seem pretty good. We're overall, we're pretty happy. I think it would have been something that we were all like, eh, you know, like what else? Like, can we apologize? It's all good. I think it's the absence of that that has us, um, you know, all, all of us pretty understandably upset. Now, the video I did though, I was being really serious. I was like, I want to check this out. Um, how bad is he now? I, and I couldn't remember, I got really sick. I was very sick for three weeks. And I was like, I know that I made this video thinking he was incredible. I want to show it to people, but I don't remember the fights. I just don't. And I, I looked at all the fights and not a single thing with them fixing glancing was in there and i was like if i just showed you or showed myself this footage of this new champion i would think they're incredible so i think that's my full thoughts on it is i think he's still incredible i think it sucks i think they should have you know communicated it better and uh there we are Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Any day now. Just you and me, buddy. Don't be scared. There's people watching, but they can't really see. Don't worry. They're more scared of you than you are of them. Trust me. It's like a spider. Uh, did he just parry that? He just parried my... S he... Okay. Maybe it's time for Old Man Vega to go to bed. We're not gonna have anywhere close to enough, uh... Enough vibro charges to knock him down. It's okay. Oh wow, we did. Uh, I, Shocker's amazing. Uh, I pay if I if I if I play that better, you know, he comes out with 90% health. That's a rank three. Um, that's a big boy rank three onslaught there. Perry, nothing strange. I uh, yeah. I that felt weird, huh? I, I know you're joking around, Antrasis. Uh I remember Elon Musk both dude. There's like three of those trucks in my neighborhood now. I mean, whatever. <laughs> People like what they like, man, you know? People like what they like, I guess, is the moral of that story. Um, what am I doing here? What am I doing?
Um. Yeah. He did pair. Yeah, from I said that you were a little late. I, I probably am, dude. Um, I've had a really long day. This is my second stream of the day. Um, like the input overrided your second medium. I, I probably did. It felt weird. It definitely did. I just was surprised to see the uh, the. Um, The, uh, the parry, uh, wording. Dude, come on. See. Yoshi's here? What's up, Yoshi? How you doing, bud? Uh, they have to say, a good defense is better than a good offense sometimes. Uh, nice match, Joey. Thanks thanks for letting me win, bud. Um, Aiden, you said you're up for one. Let's do one more, and then I think we'll sign off for the night. Uh, what's Yoshi saying? Uh, just popped in before bed to say congrats on the Titan pull. Thanks, dude. I'm really pumped up. Good luck on the rest of the BGs if you have anything left. Thank you so much. Yeah, I got. Uh, I have. I have six paths of eight point four left to do. So hopefully we can get those done by the end of the week, uh, and all that. What are we doing? So like clickbaiting too. You know, I'm all about that clickbait. I'm all about that clickbait. <laughs> What's up, intoxicated gamer? My new alliance leader, Abdo. How you doing? Oh, I think I could uh, ascend another champion. I should do that. I should ascend a champion for my big match tomorrow. All right, let's go out on a better one. Let's go out on a better one. We're going to try to really concentrate now. Um, Aiden, you are the type of person that would have a deck like this. What am I even going to do? What am I, what am I supposed to do with this, Aiden? What am I... Okay, first of all, he's got to go. Um... All right. All right, Aiden. You won trivia night. Congratulations, Abdo. Congratulations. You know Aiden's gonna like know how to perfect dex onslaughts SB once too. He probably knows how to dex his SB two. Megatron. I'll teach you a thing or two. Um. Well, we gotta go photon. And um, I see Kate and Titania there, and Sunspot. But I also see Danny. I feel like that was disrespectful of Aiden to not ban her. Uh, let's you know what Aiden thinks of Shocker. Um, gotta go with my girl America and kill Monger. I didn't ban her because I have my own. <laughs> That's awesome, Aiden. Dude, uh, seven star bullseye is a different beast. Uh, I think it was Zuzu that was showing that in the battlegrounds chat on the server today. I'm, I, I yeah. Um, we're not even gonna try. Oh Jesus, and Serpy. All right. 
All right, dude. All right, Aiden. Um. Okay. Oh, I want to see Aiden's fight. Uh, I hope you're recording, Aiden. If you're not, please don't like go and try to. Uh, but I would like to see that. Here we go. Come on, dude. What is this nonsense? No! This, uh, this is actually good for me because I don't actually get to, I have not gotten to fight many serpents at all in Battlegrounds. Uh, people tend to ban mine because they obviously don't want to fight them, understandably so. Um, I thought that there was a power gain when you send them into mortality. I thought I had three of her dimensions up and so she would reverse that. Clearly I was wrong. What I, exactly I was wrong about that though, I don't know. And I, I actually really want to find out. Um, Cause I feel like Chavez is his best counter. Potentially Kushala, but I, I, I don't think it's Chavez. Um, what's up Cypher? Super passive KM, yeah. He can mess you up cause then you just get stuck at some point. I feel like that fight could go well. I don't know how to make it go well though. So that's interesting. Um. I did defeat uh, the Act 8 boss. I only did it once. I will do... Um, I intend to stream the rest of my paths. I, the boss was great, though. So, no boss? <laughs> What's up, buddy? What? Uh, not a whole lot. You probably won't be here long. Oh, that was. What just? Ha what just happened? I'm gonna wind back. Uh, you're just a tad bit slow. Yeah. Holy crud! She was quick off of that. Wouldn't be surprising. Um, I used pretty much all the energy I had left from the day on. Uh, I'm getting down, uh, I don't want to mess up his name and I'm concentrating on, uh, uh, Gly Glycon. If I, if I mess up the name, I want it to be on purpose because I'm trying to be humorous and I wasn't trying to be. I really enjoyed that fight, dude. Really enjoyed that fight. Was that your first time? Yeah. 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 That was my first nice. run. Um, but it takes a lot of concentration and we had a lot of uh, sim join call. We had a lot of fun, like talking about it and going, Hey, great matchup, uh, Aiden. Thanks for thanks for letting me win, but um, Photon's my favorite Shuri counter in the game. Um, Absolutely. 
Nice. She just is. Like, she just is. Um, I can tell I'm a little scatterbrained. Had a, had a full day, full day of work. I sh this is my second stream of the day. Uh, did mm -hmm. the full dad thing, did the full husband thing today. So I'm a little, I'm a little on the uh, tired side. Um, I just had a weird Serpent's power reversal as cap. Um, I just had a, uh, I don't get to fight Serpent very often in Battlegrounds because mine's usually bug or usually banned. Mm -hmm. And I thought, and obviously I was wrong, that if I sent him into his immortality phase and I had three dimensions up from Chavez, it would reverse his power gain. It should. Like three negative dimensions. I believe I did. We could go back and, uh, well, I wouldn't know how to go back and check. Yeah, because if you look at the, I think it's this. Yeah, it is that first bullet. Um, it'll say that his ability power rate cannot be lowered below 50% against non-mystics. Chavez can still reverse. So, mm, geez, I thought I had three up, but even two would still reverse it, wouldn't it? Yeah, because hers are 60. I did send him red. So that's that's the other thing, though, is maybe maybe there's like a, a moment where he can throw the special. Because I feel like there's other champions that have been like that, too. Yeah. Um, he probably had just a frame. I mean, because when you think it. about it, it's kind of like I kind of was cheating. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's a smart use of her of her abilities. But that's also kind of like not the spirit of the rules, I think. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I do. Um, all right, so I won't, I won't, I won't do that unless I feel like I have to in Battlegrounds. Namor has that frame too. Namor, and then there's been a champion, I'd say in the last like 12 months, who has like a power drain or a power burn or something like that. And I think DL, I, I, again, I could be way wrong because I am tired, but I feel like it was you even called out that like this happens before something else and, and therefore... Am I totally mm. making this up? No, that's ringing a bell, although I don't know what at the moment. I couldn't for the life of me tell you who it is. Did you do a deep dive of context for Red Skull, maybe? Or... I don't think it's Prowler. No, it couldn't be Prowler. That wouldn't make sense. I don't think I did Red Skull. I should have. What champion would it even make sense for? Now I'm really interested in this. <laughs> oh, I... Th The only thing I can think of is is Kindred's heavy consuming power. Um, but that doesn't sound right. Did anyone in the chat know? Um, I, I'd be really curious. It could have just been. It was in the Kindred one, but I was talking about Purgatory. Who knows? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it's not that big a deal either way. This is 2003. Future Ant-Man? I still don't fully understand how he works. <laughs> uh, sorry, that's coming from... There's a bug with him that is not on Trello because we were hoping to fix it in the next patch. Yeah. Um, and we ran into a problem and had to revert it. It's still probably not going to go on Trello because it's too minor, honestly. And it'll just be the next patch. But yeah, it's possible. His. This is all to say his code is tough um, because I thought we had a fix and something went wrong and caused a crash. <laughs> all right. Um, hey, uh, buddy, thanks for joining. I know it's really late for you. I, I, I'm exhausted. I gotta, uh... Yeah, no worries at I all. I should go. Um, there's this really small YouTuber who we can raid. I've been working on trying to remember to raid people. It's, it's, yeah. it's been good. Um... Pretty confident, so... His and name is Brian Grant. You may have heard of him. Was. Um, but he's, he's live, and he does put on a great show, so... He obviously doesn't need the views, but uh, I mean, you're not streaming, right? You're going to bed. Yeah, no, I'm definitely going to bed. So, um, 
you guys could do that, just do a Vega Ray. Let him know I said hello. Uh, he and I got to actually hang out quite a bit at the uh, Battle Room Brawl. And uh, I really like him. <laughs> I really like him a lot. Um, thank you everyone for being here. Dude, DL, thanks for joining the call here. Uh, sorry we're signing off right away, but that was fun. Uh, we will be back. Tomorrow is probably the Battlegrounds um, the Battlegrounds stream. I might try to stream some 8.4. We'll see. And then hopefully on Thursday and Friday, we finish up 8.4, get all those rank ups done and that sort of thing. Uh, and have a great time. Huge thank you to Aaron from Ohio and Giant Wallace for the donations. A lot of members came in and had their anniversary. And just you all in the chat. I mean, you guys helped me get through that fight with that, uh, the idea on the heavy punch. That was massive for me. So thank you, everyone. And a massive, massive thank you to Simula who talked me through the whole fight. That was huge. All right, everybody. We'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Adios.